Hi, my name is Ben Dice, Ben Dice Real Estate here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Independent broker and I'm a VA specialist. I've got over 26 years experience in helping veterans get into homes. I am so tired of having veterans turned down by loans because they're not given the correct information to help guide them to get into a home. So many times and lately I've gotten so many calls where veterans have said, you know what, uh, we've tried three different people, we've tried three different lenders, they said that we can't do this. And it's so frustrating to me because the VA does not care about credit scores. So today I'm gonna to talk about four mistakes that I see veteran home buyers make consistently and constantly that cost them in the thousands of dollars at the very minimum or at the very most cost them their dream home because they end up not getting approved for the loan because they make one of these mistakes or fall into one of these pitfalls. So I'm gonna jump right in. These mistakes are actually very easy to avoid if you know what to look for. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Mistake number one that veterans usually make is not stepping out of their boundary or their circle of influence. Um, like your banking institution, if you bank with a certain institution and they've denied you for a loan, it's okay. There's other people out there that can help. Just because one person denies you doesn't mean another person's going to. So it's easy to fix this. Call a VA specialist. So many people else have friends in the business, but they're not a VA specialist. Mistake number two, not getting pre-qualified before you go out and look at houses or even get on Rolta.com, whatever, however you're finding your homes. Get pre-qualified first. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You've been searching for weeks. You're in your comfort zone. You're looking at houses down here. You're looking at houses down in this area. Zillow, Trulia, magazine got a few places in town picked up saturday comes around you pack all the kids in the minivan you're out to the races you head across town to look at the couple of homes that you found maybe on zillow or trulia you find two that you like in that area now there's another area that you guys are interested in as well you load everybody up you head to the next area and a couple of more other homes that you like you got your list you like a few of the homes you're ready to submit an offer you want to get pre-qualified come to find out you spent an entire Saturday for nothing. You're out looking around, going to open houses, whatever it may be to lead you to that certain house that you wanted to, and then you can't qualify. Or if you've even been searching online and then come to find out you're $50,000 shy from getting your dream home. There is another scenario to that. It's called debt reduction for VA. You can get up to 4% of purchase price to buy down your interest rate. You can pay off bills that will help you qualify for more to get you into your dream home. Again, you want a VA special. By getting with somebody that is in your circle of comfort, maybe they're not a VA expert. Maybe they won't know that you could get $10,000 in debt reduction to pay off bills to help you qualify. Maybe they don't know that you could pay off a car loan, credit cards, motorcycle debt, anything that helps a veteran qualify for a loan. Again, you can get up to 4% of purchase price to pay bills off to help you qualify to get you into that dream house. Listen, I'm only scratching the surface of the stuff that I've told you about. There are so many other things you can do with a VA loan, but if you don't hire the right person, they're not gonna know this stuff to even tell you. So whoever you hire to represent you in this big transaction, make sure they have the knowledge and experience about the VA process. So let's talk about mistake number four, knowing your fees up front. A lot of people, this is a very confusing to a lot of people. You don't need any money down for a VA loan. Sellers can pay your closing costs. Builders can pay it for you. That incentive, right? There's huge incentives out there for everybody to pay these for veterans. So some of the fees that are gonna acquire is usually a home inspection fee of like between two to $400. Your down payment is called earnest money to hold the house. It shows good faith in you purchasing the house from a seller or a builder. Usually can get you in for just 500 down. So many people think you need so much money for the earnest money or the down payment for a VA. You don't need any money down. 
and it's only $500 earnest money usually. Quick story, had a couple just recently, they didn't qualify for $350,000 and I brought up the scenario to them that you know maybe the seller would pay $8,000 of this debt for you so that you could qualify for more and get into that $350,000 home. That happened last week. That guy's closing next week on his house. It's that easy. So that's what's so dynamic about the VA loan is you can't do this with a conventional loan, but with VA, you can pay off debt to help a person qualify for more. The last couple I just helped a couple of weeks ago, they needed to pay off a car loan. The car loan was $11,000. The builder helped with the incentive. They paid off the car loan at closing for them. They got into their $350,000 they wouldn't have been able to qualify with this. As a matter of fact, they told me that two other people told them they could never qualify for this. And now they are in their home celebrating Thanksgiving. So again, I care about your scenario and I'm gonna help you bridge that gap to getting into a home from not being able to qualify to be able to turn the keys to getting you into your home. I want you to click here below, give me a call. So we're gonna have a five minute conversation it's very lackadaisy, not pushy at all. I'm gonna get to right to the root of your problem. If you've been turned down before, I'm gonna be able to tell you exactly what's going on with your situation. Also too, a lot of times, it only takes a few months for people to be able to qualify for a house. So maybe you're not ready now, but two months, three months, we'll be here very quick and we'll be able to help you get into a house. And we can talk about that scenario as well because a lot of times, so many people are not told that there's a few steps they need to take to get them to that point to be able to buy. And I will help bridge that gap.